Hi everyone, got a new puzzle to show you. The Saturn. 60 piece jigsaw. How cool is that? I've done the moon, uh, made by the same company, Yanoman, Japanese company. But this one has surely got to be the best. Saturn, the best planet out there. This is going to be good, I think. Gives you some details on the back about Saturn. I think it comes with a little stand. And I have no idea how they're going to arrange the rings of Saturn on the puzzle. So, this is how you build it. Same as with the moon. You stick pieces together. You film... You form a kind of sphere by putting the pieces on a small base. And at the end, you form a little lid and put the lid in the hole. So you follow the numbers and go in a kind of clockwise fashion to build the pieces up. Each piece has a number showing you where the next piece goes in relation to that piece. So... Shall we open it up and let's have a look. There it is. I don't know why this, the Saturn sounds wrong. You say the moon, the sun, the earth. You can't say the Saturn, the Jupiter. I think it's only those three, isn't it? Sun, moon and earth that have the. I don't know why that is. I think that's just the way it is. We can open up the box to reveal. Quite a lot of stuff inside. Stickers, which presumably you, pay, you place... On the base of the puzzle, I'm guessing, or on the rings, postcard, mini, quite a nice booklet about Saturn. Well, that's the rings, I think. That's the base on, upon which you build the puzzle. Those are the 60 pieces. Doesn't look like many. Some small plastic pieces there to hold the rings in place. I think, and here are the rings. Oh, that's pretty good. Sort of clear plastic film. You can also get Mercury and I think Mars in this series. Choking hazard, not suitable for children under six years old. Okay, let's open it up. So here are the pieces. 60 pieces. Those pieces that form the lid at the end come separately in a separate bag. One, two, three, four, five. So 56 to 60 form the lid. These are the other numbers. This is the base. You get a clear plastic tube and two bases. There's the small one. And there's the large one. Okay, according to this instruction booklet, you start with the big base, you put the pole in it, like that, then you put the small base on top, like that, and then you're going to build your puzzle on there. So I'm going to go ahead and I think my next step will be to sort out the numbers. Put the numbers in order. Okay, as the first stage, I've sorted out the pieces in order. Starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and so on. These are the 50s, actually. Um, so that I can take the pieces easily. So now I'm going to go ahead and start building the puzzle.
I've reached the halfway stage, 30 pieces done. Looks like that. I found it's easier to put the pieces outside the shell and push them in rather than pushing them in from inside the shell. Okay, I'm going to carry on to number 60. Okay, that was straightforward, um, a little bit fiddly, but that is basically most of satin done, kind of like an orange, slightly small orange. And let's pop that on the stand. And now you get the separate bag and we have to make the lid. The lid consists of the remaining five pieces. Okay, so that's the five pieces of the lid made. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. And now the task is to fit it in there. And that has to be done quite delicately. Okay, so I found for me the lid doesn't quite go on flat. But um, I think that's good enough. It doesn't seem to go quite flat. OK, you've got here the name of the company, Yanoman. Um, that's just details of the company. Grey spot at the top. One, two, three holes. You put the three peg, these three pegs in the holes. Like that. Goes in fairly easily. Take out the rings. Take off this sticker, which tells you to take the rings out of that plastic bag. I think that's fairly obvious. And I suppose you just place them on there. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good. That actually looks pretty good. Saturn and its rings. Bird's eye view. Side view. Okay, and I found out the meaning of the stickers. You can affix the stickers to the Saturn globe um, to show the equators and various features like the red stripe. The North Pole is actually, I didn't know this, but Saturn presumably has a grey 
North Pole. So you can put various stickers on there to show the different markings. I don't think I'm going to bother doing that. That's optional. I think overall it looks pretty good. It's, it's pretty. It's a pretty item. Here's a side view. It'd be good to put a black piece of cloth behind it with star patterns like Orion and stars on the cloth. A fairly simple jigsaw puzzle of Saturn. Hope you enjoyed it. My one idea for improvement would be to make this lid easier to push in because I couldn't get it quite flat. But I think that's a small point. Overall, it's very nice. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.